Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are going to be creating this New Year's Eve party look using the Gone Rogue palette from Lois Cosmetics. She looks like this. I love this palette. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my base is on, my eyes are primed. These ears are from Essence. They came in a pack with uh, these little reusable pads. Um, I really like them. If you want to know what else I have on my face, it will all be listed in the description box below. So let's get on with this. The first colour I'm heading into is Misfit. And I'm using the Jessup 231 Luxe Petite Crease. They're very pigmented these, absolutely gorgeous. So this I'm just taking through my crease, just placing mainly at the moment and we'll blend after and I do want to wing it out a bit. These colours. I absolutely love this palette. It is definitely one of the best finds of the year. There's an awful lot of sirens going outside so if you hear them I'm really sorry but they seem to be constant so I can't just keep stopping and starting. But with this look at that Colour. That is so pretty. So I want to make sure it is showing above um, my lid when I open my eyes because I do have hooded eyes. Oh, the fortune. <laughs> I'm just uh, buffing the edges out just a little bit just to make it easier to uh, blend the next colour onto. I have kind of an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, you guys will have already seen the finished look. Um, however, I have not yet. <laughs> so right now I am just playing. I'm next dipping into Wallflower, this beautiful orange here, and I am using a Jessup 223 Petite Eye Blender. And to start with, we're just placing it around the edge. I'm hoping my plan's going to work out. I think it will. <laughs> So I'm doing a kind of New Year's Eve party look, New Year's Eve makeup look, party at home. So for me, party looks um, are colourful. So it is going to be a colourful New Year's Eve look. I will go back in to re-intensify and blend all of these colours a bit better. I just want to get them all placed down at the moment. Just want to wing that out a little bit more. Okay. And next, dipping into Walk In My Shoes, the yellow there. And I'm just using that yellow to blend out the edges of this orange here. So 
So this is my first time filming since Christmas Day. So I hope you all had a great Christmas or a great holiday, whatever it is you got up to, whatever it is you're celebrating. Let me know how it went. Right, so let's go back in and re-intensify all of these colours and then we'll see if I think I'm going to add some red to deepen up the out of the increase, but we shall see. I don't know if I'm going to need to. This pink is just gorgeous. Look at that colour. Absolutely love this palette such an amazing palette definitely one of the best discoveries of 2020 I'm just gonna wing the pink out a little bit here and then back in with the orange wallflower I love how nicely these shades just blend together. Look at that. They're just like a dream to work with. Absolute dream. Oh, look at that. And then back in with the yellow walk in my shoes. This is so nice. So I'm getting ready for a very exciting collab, um, which will be happening in a few hours. Uh, you guys will have already seen the collab. If you haven't, I will link it in the description box below um, or up in the cards so that you can uh, go and watch that because that is over on Teresa's channel. But it's a very exciting collab with Teresa Mulhern. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, then you need to. You need to head over. Teresa's amazing. I'm so excited to be collabing with her. Oh, look at this. This is giving me the feels. So, I am going to dip into Can't Compare, this gorgeous red, with this just little Morphe fluffy brush. Um, just taking a little bit, and I'm literally just going to be placing that in the outer V here, just to add a little bit of depth to that outer corner. It blends so beautifully into that pink. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that is looking gorgeous i love how easily that these eyeshadows blend together they're a dream to work with i i can highly highly recommend this palette it is beautiful there's one press glitter um which if you don't like glitters it's just the one um but if you do it's absolutely gorgeous i've used it and i love it so I'm going to quickly nip off camera, pop on some NYX glitter primer, and then I'll be back to finish the eyes with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, glitter primer on. I am now going to go in with Unapologetic, this really gorgeous shimmer pink. I love this. I'm just using a brush from Makeup by Tammy, just a little flat brush. And dipping into Unapologetic. I'm going to be placing that over. 
I'm only taking a bit at a time so I don't get any fallout. And I love this colour. So I'm taking it over the most part of my lid, but I am leaving room for the next colour, which isn't going to be a surprise to you now because uh, you will have already seen the finished look. Oh, this colour is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Guys, seriously, if you haven't got this, you are sleeping on this palette. It is so, so good. I cannot recommend it enough. So the next colour I'm going in with is called Outside the Box. It is this absolutely stunning green shimmer, which I love. And uh, I'm just going in with a Morphe flat brush. Doesn't have a name. It's from the Mama Mitchell collection. And so into outside the box. And I'm going to be placing this in the inner part and where I have left room up here. I don't need to say anything because you can see for yourselves just how gorgeous this shade is. Look at it. It wouldn't be me if I didn't add green into a look really. I just have this huge love of green. It is my absolute favourite colour to play with. Right, and then back in with a little touch of the pink. I'm just going to try and blend them just a little bit just so uh, it's not the harshest line between them. And then back in with the green. I did prime my lower lash line um, because I knew it was something I was going to want to take down. So let's dip into the red. Can't compare, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to actually take I'm just taking a Zoeva 226 smudger uh, to dip into that red and just a tiny bit, I want that against the lash line, just that outer part there. And then with the pencil brush, the Pract pencil brush from Sigma, I'm just dipping ever so slightly into that pink just to blend that out just a little bit. And just tiny, tiny amount to blend it. And then in with the brush that I used for the orange wallflower, no extra product. I'm just going to use that to buff out these edges just to get a better blend under there. And then in with a little bit more of that red. I just want that lash line just that bit deeper. Just to connect it to the top there. And lastly, in with the brush that I used for the yellow. Just to give the edges just a little bit more smudged out look. Hmm. I am liking how this is looking so far, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then come back to show you the final look. Okay, so here is the finished look. 
What do you think? This is giving me proper 80s party vibes and I'm loving it. I wanted to go OTT because I think this year has been such a downer. I just wanted a just a really bright out there party look to uh, to end the year with. So this is my New Year's Eve party look. What do you think? Let me know in the description box below. Um, I was dying to try this lipstick. It is the Lime Crime Velveteens. It's hashtag 18. So I think this was one of the uh, ones from Cult Beauty. It's uh, one of the limited edition ones, I believe. Um, but I was so desperate to try it and I love it. Absolutely love me a bright pink. Um, I went in around the edge of the green there with the Lois Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow in Kingdom. This is amazing, I love this also. On my inner corners I popped the holographic pigment from Makeup by Lisa, it's called Zanies. I just thought a bit of a disco ball effect looked good. Um, blusher and highlighter from Pout and Shout, amazing. Um, I will list everything in the description box below, so if there's anything you want to know It'll be down there. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, it really helps me out. If you are not subscribed already, then I hope you will consider sticking around, hitting the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss next time I upload. So that's it from me for today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.